Skydweller Aero Incorporated was established in 2019 based on the acquisition of Solar Impulse 2 and its IP assets. As a multinational company with global headquarters in Oklahoma City, Skydweller has brought together the leading aerospace engineers to create an airborne solution that will revolutionize the aviation industry. We are working to provide solar-powered, unmanned aircraft capable of achieving perpetual flight. Creating unprecedented endurance, our platform will be capable of remaining on stations for months at a time with heavy payloads, providing our end users with the data and coverage they need. Skydweller will provide the defense community with persistent intelligence and surveillance, and will provide superior broadband services to current and emerging telecommunication markets. In addition, we will be pursuing opportunities to assist in emergencies such as forest fires and tornadoes by providing communications relay. Hi, my name is Fernando Orte. I'm the software integration lead at Skydweller. I have more than eight years of experience developing software for the UAV industry. Along with my work assembling pieces of the software puzzle, I'm responsible for establishing the software development processes according to the strict aerospace rules. Avionics is one of the most rigorous industries when it comes to developing safety-critical software, meaning that every single line of code must be traced to a requirements document, test results, reviewed by different people, version control. So it's crazy, you can imagine how a change in a single line of code will impact the project in terms of cost and resources needed. So we are putting all our effort into minimizing this cost by having well-defined software plans and processes. Scaling the software team to be able to produce software quickly has been one of the biggest challenges that I face from a software management perspective. Combining the traditional engineering processes of the aerospace industry that are well known to be safe, highly planned, but slow, with a more dynamic and efficient agile methodology has been the best way to achieve streamlined software development following the audacious schedule that Skydweller is pursuing. Since Skydweller opened its offices in Madrid one and a half years ago, the company has been growing, changing and adapting to the worldwide situations, including COVID-19, very quickly. So to produce software, requirements, documentation and all required artifacts at the same time that we were establishing how the company was going to handle software development has been challenging and enriching. It's incredible to see where we start and where we are today. The software that we are developing to convert this manned aircraft to unmanned comes from a multidisciplinary software team that combines knowledge in model-based tools with the latest technologies of safety-critical code generation, as well as real-time operating systems. As an integrator, my job is to take code from several people and combine it into one single piece that will become the software running the aircraft. To do this, it's mandatory that we are all coordinated with a single source of truth that is our main system and software architecture. So collaboration and communication have been fundamental to our success so far. We aim to create safe software that leads us to a successful flight from the very beginning. To make this possible, we are working and collaborating with many renowned multinational organizations in the aerospace industry. Hi, my name is Enrique Babillo. I'm a guidance navigation and control engineer at Skydwell in Madrid. As part of the GNC Group and the Flight Sciences team, we are working on all the aspects related to the aircraft dynamics. We develop models to simulate and analyze the dynamics of the aircraft and ultimately produce this flight control software. One of the most critical phases of flight for any existing high altitude fuel light is the ascent and descent through low and middle altitude layers of the atmosphere. These are more turbulent than the higher ones have typically operated. Since we are going to be operating in this region, we can expect to deal with a more dynamic environment compared to other similar systems. To face this tougher environment, the Skydweller aircraft is built stiffer, leading to a more easily controlled platform, not easily controllable though, but this introduces new challenges for load alleviation. Also, by operating at lower altitudes, Skydweller will be able to deliver its services closer to ground, which comes with many advantages but it will also make us more sensitive to weather. This means, for example, that we will have to consider both cloud coverage 
and cloud top altitude to ensure we are receiving the solar energy we need. This is especially critical during the night to ensure we are correctly positioned in the morning to receive energy when we need it the most and batteries are closer to depletion. Also, in this layer, the effects of the general weather are felt to a greater extent, such as changes in wind direction over time. All of this will add a greater degree of complexity and coupling in weather analysis and mission planning.